Hi, this video will be very raw. I don't have enough time to send it off to my video editor to get it all prepped and nice for the Sunday upload. So we'll have a conversation, you and me, and this conversation is serious because it's about immigration news. I don't wanna withhold it and uh, not provide this vital information to you immediately. Here it is, the immigration update for November 2023 that will affect you as an international student, as an immigrant next year and probably for many years to come. There's three federal updates. I have one prediction alongside and one provincial update that will probably regard many of you if you live outside Canada. You want to move to Canada, but you don't have enough money for student immigration. Starting December 1st, 2023, post-secondary designated learning institutions will need to confirm every letter of acceptance with IRCC directly. And the thing is with this update is, I'm not sure how come IRCC uh, has just implemented this. I don't know why they never had it before, but in my opinion, uh, this will really help remove those fraudulent agents and uh, help safeguard you as an international student so that you can move to Canada and really help propel our amazing economy in this country. Important to know that this will only affect new applicants. So if you got your letter of acceptance before December 1st, 2023, you're good. I really hope they will give access to both parties, the student and the school. But so far, it sounds like only the schools will be able to confirm it with IRCC. Number two, in fall 2024, IRCC will establish a recognized institution system, which is a system that's supposed to reward those universities and colleges that provide exceptional support for their international students. To me, it sounds like YouTube premium, to be honest. You know how there's YouTube free, YouTube premium. If you pay for YouTube premium, you get access to your video right away without watching the ad. If you don't have it, you need to wait for the ad to play and then you can get access to your final product, which is the content you wanna watch. It sounds very similar where I'm guessing IRCC will incentivize these recognized institutions by giving them faster processing for study permits. So I assume if you get accepted into one of those, your study permit will be processed faster than if you're not. This is what it sounds like to me, but in fall 2024, we'll see exactly what IRCC is planning to do with this system. Now you might be wondering, where will I be able to check this? Well, my guess is that if you go on DLI Canada, you will probably see it as one of the columns. You know, there's one that says PGWP eligible, yes or no, and then probably next to it, I'm guessing they will have this recognized. But we're yet to see this in the year that's coming very soon. And in the meantime, I think it's important for you to focus on well-established schools, universities and colleges. How do you do it? Well, look for reputation. If you need help deciding on the school or any other questions, there is always a link to book a meeting with me in the description to this video. The third one is a little scary to me, and here's why. So the Minister of Immigration, Mark Miller, announced that there might be some changes or reforms about the current PGWP system. What we have now is if you study for one year, you get a one year post-grad work permit, given that your DLI is PGWP eligible. If you study for two years or more, you get a three year post-grad work permit. And now it's industry blind, meaning that no matter the industry, if it's designated, if it's eligible for PGWP, you get your post-grad work permit for whatever the length is. But here's my prediction, only my prediction. Don't, don't take it as what's gonna happen. I'm guessing that IRCC will check what areas are in high demand in Canada, like trades, healthcare, STEM, agriculture, and probably make it so if you study in one of those areas, the length of your PGWP goes up. That's my prediction. However, it's only a speculation. We're yet to see how it's gonna play out. Number four, Nova Scotia has just launched the Critical Construction Worker Pilot, which aims to help people move to Canada and eventually get PR by working in the construction field of Nova Scotia. It's a provincial nominee program, could be a good pathway for PR. You would need to have one year of experience and be in one of those in-demand occupations. 
please let me know below in the comments if that's what you want me to talk about because it's relatively new. If there is demand for it, I might make a separate video. Another big thing is we have built a tool that's apparently the first in the world that will really help with your permanent residency application. We'll make it much smoother and simpler. I'm looking forward to sharing it, but I told my audience that once we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're going to unveil it. We've uh, heard back from some people who attended our recent event in Halifax, uh, and that was when we opened it up to the public in a closed beta. So publicly it hasn't been announced, but privately we've had some people and thankfully they've gotten to, to success with PR. So I'm looking forward to unveiling it to the whole world. Uh, subscribe not to miss it. Make sure your notifications are on and comment below what more you'd like me to dive into. And also, sorry for this kind of raw format, but I promise the Sunday video will not disappoint because my video editor is on it right now. I'll see you in that one.